So unfortunately, after two years of ownership and 25,000 miles, the ISF finally left me stranded. I'll go ahead and show you guys what I mean. So a little background story. I was at Chick-fil-A uh, last week and I started seeing smoke coming out of the hood as I was in the drive-thru. So I pulled over immediately, opened the hood, and sure enough, the radiator was just leaking, coolant everywhere. Um, luckily, I was in town, so I was able to get the car back home. But the bad thing is I have a track day in a few days and the car is in pieces. But I reached out to RR Racing and they sent me an upgraded radiator and transmission cooler package. I'll go ahead and show you guys that. So we have the Koyo Rad cooler here, which is a much thicker and all aluminum unit compared to the OEM one. So you can see, I don't know if you guys can tell, but there's coolant all over here. This is pretty much where they tend to give out. Uh, although it only has 87,000 miles, it is a 12 year old car being an 08. So you can see it's seen better days. There's a lot of nastiness on here. Uh, it's also cracked right here. I don't think this is the cause of the leak, but it was actually coming out from like all this right here. So we're just gonna go ahead and replace it with an upgraded one. It's gonna help me out in the long run. I've been wanting this Koyo Red anyways since it has better cooling capacity it's thicker um, and then right here we have the really big transmission cooler compared to the OEM one so this is going to be an awesome upgrade as well I already have an oil cooler so I'll have the complete cooling package and we, here we have the also went with the RR Racing hoses just to finish it off nice clean look the ones I have now are pretty rough look pretty uh, dried out so and then the new transmission lines and some fittings and stuff like that clamps I should try to show you guys the difference in thickness here I don't know if you guys can tell how how much of a difference that is so this one obviously the new one has a lot higher cooling capacity Uh, the install should be pretty straightforward. You guys can see here where all the coolant just like was pouring out. All right, let's go ahead and get this installed. It's the next day now. I got everything in the radiator and the oil, the trans cooler here, all bolted in, um, everything tightened down. It was pretty simple. Also, the new hoses here look much better than the old ones. Um, I already turned the car on and topped off the coolant, so it should be good. Everything should be ready to go back on and drop the car back down. But really straightforward. Um, it's a little hard to get it back in just because it is thicker. I got a little beat up doing that, but it's all in there. I used uh, this foam tape here. I got a Home Depot. For the back, uh, I don't know if you can see it back here. It's behind the, the trans cooler here. Just so it's not metal to metal onto this bracket here since there's nowhere to bolt it down on this end and then i got the two bolts holding it down right here the lines our racing supplies you with the lines to route to the trans cooler back there i gotta clean up my oil cooler but yeah hopefully you guys can see i know it's a terrible lighting but all in uh, we just gotta hope everything's correct now make sure I didn't miss anything but it's been sitting over nine there's no leaks so that should be good good sign we'll go ahead and get everything back on the car the bumper drop the car down and then take it for a drive and make sure everything checks out so I pulled the car out of the garage and I'm gonna leave it running with the cap off just to keep checking the coolant temps I mean the coolant levels to make sure it doesn't need any more fluid and also just keep checking for leaks. So for the most part the install was super easy to be honest it's really straightforward. Uh, I mean it's a little hard getting the radiator out because there's these uh, these harnesses right here for the fans and whatnot so you have to like kind of wiggle around that. Also the new radiator being so thick compared to the factory one it pushes it back more so you lose even more space so it was a little hard and i did it by myself too so there was that but it's really straightforward just 
unplug everything, replug it back where it went. Um, the transmission cooler was straightforward, but it did give me a little bit of an issue, just being that you had to top it off as high as you could and then plug it in. Like it was kind of hard keeping it full without it spilling out. I did spill quite a bit on myself when I was under the car, but luckily I bought a quart and you only need a 0.4 quarts, I believe for this to add. So luckily I had extra, but yeah, just pretty much topping it off and getting it plugged in without it spilling was, was a little tricky. But other than that, it was, it was really easy. Uh, let's go ahead and start it up and then make sure nothing is leaking or make sure it doesn't go back down on the coolant level. Uh, you guys probably can't tell, but it's right at the full mark right now. Also in the middle of upgrading these lines right here going from these, these quick release push locks they tend to leak a lot I have a lot of issues with the leaking as you can tell just sitting right here it's kind of like pinching it in right here so you kind of press it in and when you press it in it releases the hose but if the hose isn't completely straight it's gonna put a little tension on one side and, and create a leak which is pretty annoying I have a lot of issues with that uh, constant check engine lines and the car starts to run rich You'll, uh, you'll start to get a backfire. So I ordered uh, all new AN fittings instead. This is gonna ensure there's no leaks. I'm just waiting for one more fitting that I forgot for this one that should be here today. So I'll be replacing all these with, with these lines right here with these uh, braided lines. And then I gotta work on this one. I gotta get, I bought some oil to like help get this in all the way. So I just put it on right now so I can turn the car on. But I'm gonna, I might do a video for that if you guys are curious to see that or I can get you the part numbers that I used. Not to mention it'll look a lot better with those braided lines too. And I just have this off right now. I'm gonna put this back on a little bit and then I gotta go to the hardware store or AutoZone and get uh, plastic clips for these covers. I have an issue always breaking those, it's pretty annoying. So yeah, uh, let's take another look. Yeah, it seems to be holding at full, so that's good. I'll go ahead and get the cap on and then we'll go and head to the store. down to the low mark so I'll top that off when I get back home I guess still just cycling through the system but all right guys it's gonna be it for the video nothing's leaking so yeah thanks for watching if you guys have any questions you know feel free to go ask away in the comment section and I'll get back to you but thanks for watching see you guys in the next one